So I bought this Wink Hub, and no sooner than walking out of Home Depot did it dawn on me how pointless having a home automation hub with just a couple of lights is. So let's have some fun and let the smoke out, or root the Wink Hub, one, one or the other. Taking this thing apart is easy enough, just a couple of Torx screws, it's kind of like they watch you inside. And grab some mail pin headers and stuff the pokey bits through the holes. I use some tape to hold it in there temporarily. Grab a hot piece of metal and solder them in place. Bored yet? Wow, it's boring to watch this. So it's time to grab our USB to TTL serial cable and attach an extra pokey bit to the ground so we can cause havoc to our NAND chip. There we go. Everybody loves a loose ground, right? It's time to plug the wires coming off the USB to TTL cable into the Wink. We're only going to use three cables here. The ground, receive, and transmit. It's pretty straightforward. Now I plug the USB stick into the computer. Here I'm using a flavor of Linux, Ubuntu. Use screen in a terminal to connect to the USB TTL that has just showed up. With a baud rate of 115200. You shouldn't see anything immediately because the Wink Hub is not powered on. This is where you use that loose ground. So you got to find pin 29 on the NAND chip and when you do keep an eye on it and you have to power on the wink and after about one second hold the ground to pin 29 on the NAND chip. Oh, failed the first time so I powered off and back on trying one more time. Success! Now we're at a boot prompt here. Type print env, P R I N T E N V, hit enter. All we have to do at this point is copy the app boot underscore args line from set env on, and at the end of it within the Last single quote, add init equals forward slash bin forward slash sh. I do this off screen because I'm lame. After adding that, hitting enter, just copy the rest of the line from the app underscore boot, starting with nand, paste that in, hit enter. And there's root. Damn, that was easy with surprisingly little amount of smoke.